Hey YouTube, it's time for a fish room tour, July 2017. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, this is Brian coming at you again. Uh, we're going to do a fish room tour for July 2017 here. And I thought I would start off with my reddest latest pair, who as you can see are in breeding dress. Uh, they spawned recently and somewhere down in this area there's a bunch of wigglers. They spawned on the back side of this uh, rock here and um, eggs have hatched and there's wigglers that somewhere, no free swimmers yet so it was a smaller spawn but um, at any rate they did spawn so that's cool. They spawn once or twice a year it seems like only and kind of go from there. You also notice that they're in a new tank, and it's kind of interesting that uh, I put them in a new tank, and within less than a week they spawned. Um, they used to be over in this tank, and I'll get to why I moved them in a second, but uh, they are over in this 180 right here. Um, so um, it's always fun when these guys do um, spawn, and they get just this awesome coloration. The bars and the stuff, and the it just their overall color just looks so cool it's just uh, it's really a treat to look at so pretty happy about that and of course they're guarding their eggs or their eggs they're I guess wigglers now and they're just uh, they want to kill me basically <laughs> so that's pretty cool by the way check this out go get the new projected album it just came out this week Down here we've got one of my um, Hadiensis pairs with uh, free swimmers as you can see. They spawned recently and it's quite a big clutch of fry. They're kind of starting to spread out but uh, they've had uh, real nice clouds around them for the most part but right now they're a little bit more spread out. You can see um, she's got a little bit of damage to her head. They must have gotten to a little bit of a spat maybe guarding the fry. I'm not sure but at any rate, uh, I'm pretty happy about that, so that's nice to know that there's going to be some fry that I can hopefully grow out on these guys. Uh, up here is my male Moda. Female is no longer with us. He killed her. Kind of sucks. Um, I came down one morning and he had roughed her up so bad that I didn't think she was even going to make it instantly divided her started doing water changes and she was looking like for about a week week and a half two weeks she was going to recover she was swimming around and actually eating even though her body was just completely white and scarred up and she was missing fins or uh, scales and just she was just in awful shape but the fact that she ate every day and was out um, swimming around after I divided her away from him gave me some hope but uh, eventually one morning I came down and she was floating on the top she just passed overnight so gonna need to either get a female for him or else just try to get a new pair of motas but uh, this guy's really awesome I hate to let him go um, but I'm not sure if he would do well pairing up with another female at his uh, age and size but we'll see um, but he's still doing good. Um, I think he's a little lonely. Um, he's acting a little different than he um, had in the past, but that's to that comes with the territory sometimes with fish when one they lose their mate and two you move them, which I've done. So we'll see what happens. But um, down below is the other pair of uh, Hadiensis. They're in that tube right now. Um, no spawning behavior or any anything that I've seen there's the uh, dithers oops they just freaked out the dithers that I've got in here are these um, heterospilus nice looking fish too but they're chilling out down in their tube right now I think I freaked them out standing in front of the tank filming the tank above so so here's the umbi pair they're still doing good Optimus and Matrix um, you can see there's Optimus right there, looking beastly as ever. Matrix is probably hiding in this tube right now. Yep, there she is. 
haven't had a spawn from them now in several months, but that's okay. I'm not really looking to spawn a bunch of fish right now. Wish she'd come out so you can see her, but I kind of have a feeling that they have maybe weren't getting along a little earlier this morning before I shot this because they're acting a little strange. But anyway. Down below here we've got the Dovi pair, Orion, is the big male there, Artemis is the female, still got these guys, he likes to show off, Just fry racks basically. I'm not gonna go into too much detail there. Stay tuned for a big announcement. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, there is uh, my red magma flower horn. He's still doing real good. Get a better angle where there's not as much glare. Maybe the side of the tent. Eh, it's not going to do any much better. Shrimp all through here. I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, this tank is empty except for a Pleco. There was a uh, Hadiensis pair in there that I sold. Uh, over here is the, uh, the other flower horn. This is the 9.9 .9 Confa. Looking real good as always. Really dig this fish and really dig his coloring. Really fun to watch. And then of course down below is uh, Minus pair doing real well. They're hungry right now. This guy's a couple pellets of Southern Delight large. Yeah, they like that stuff. Uh, over here, I've got, I sold the uh, Redis Latest growths that were in here, and now I've got three or four Moda fry that didn't get eaten that I was able to pull out. This is the biggest one of them. It's not very big, but there's another one, and there should be at least one or two more in there. There's still one over in the tank that the Modas used to be in the Redis Latest tank. So we'll see what happens there. Empty except for a Pleco. Um, been empty for several months, so we'll head upstairs and I'll show you Cheeto. There's Cheeto. He's doing good, so are the loaches. Going crazy. It's uh, time to eat for them. There's the biker down there. He's been doing real good as always. I mean, I say the same stuff uh, video after video on this guy, but he's just fun to have up here in my office, keep me company while I'm working during the day. And he's a real active fish. The clown loaches are real active in here too. Um, they're fun to watch. They school around, especially when they're ready to eat. Big old mosh pit right there. 90 gallon is looking pretty bad but it's just algae I was gonna tear it down now I've decided I think I'm gonna just rescape it and clean it up when I have some time oh sorry that my finger was in the way there I hope that it hasn't been that way for a long time but for now it's just things doing good it's just there's algae on the glass not really any algae anywhere else but uh, 
and uh, I sold off like half of the Monte Carlo in here and now it's really starting to take up growing again so there'll be a new carpet before you know it but if I had the time I'd rescape it now I just don't know that I do so I'm just gonna kind of let it go for a little while I'm not sure but anyway that's that um, so really um, that's all I got for you this month um, stay tuned for a big announcement coming soon I think you guys are gonna be really happy about it um, also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure that um, you, you do uh, so that you can get all my updates on all my different tanks and, and that type of thing. Uh, make sure that you go over to uh, my Facebook page, Brian's Fish Tanks. Make sure you go over to Aquatic Support Systems business page on Facebook. And make sure you go over to Aquatic Support Community the group on Facebook and check all those things out. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.